Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that The Marvels is by far the worst performing MCU movie of all time, not just because of the way it was marketed and based on what Nia DaCosta said in response to the fan backlash and the criticism that's not even helping at all, but let's not forget about Kevin Feige's desperate attempt at making alterations to the film at last minute based on the failed test screening that happened about a month or two ago. And to top things all off, we know that Disney CEO Bob Iger has been lying about this movie, about its future performance overall, essentially, at the box office itself. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, a lot of you are most definitely going to debate on whether or not this really is the worst MCU film of all time or if it's on par or worse than Thor Love and Thunder. That's an ongoing debate right now, back and forth between Marvel fans. Now, when it goes back to Kevin Feige, the Marvel boss, all right, the guy that's running the show of the entire roadmap of the movies and the TV shows, etc., has really not been taking this criticism well and has not been taking the backlash lightly, so to speak. Now, we know that Kevin Feige made some terrible decisions based on any of the latest MCU projects and for the MCU TV shows, mind you, have been dwindling and have really not been doing so well as of late. Loki was the exception, I will agree. I think that is something that Marvel Studios should really embrace more based on how it's developed and written and directed. But moving onwards, this is where things begin to really pick up involving Kevin Feige. Now, with Feige actively involved with the ongoing Marvel's drama, such as the box office disaster, and the criticism following this film, Feige recently delivered the following to everyone involving this. As a producer, I think it's important to never back down from your dreams, regardless of criticism. In this case with the Marvels, we wanted to focus on equality and support Disney's push for DEI into our Marvel films and future projects. I can confirm that we are not stopping here, and we hold no intentions to stop based on fan criticism. After carefully analyzing and investigating the Marvels' feedback, thanks to our analysts, we can safely assume that those that hold issues with the film are nothing more than a minority. Our goal is to embrace female-led roles and a female ensemble cast for both film and television onwards. This does not mean that we are pushing an agenda, but rather giving others a chance to star in their own films properly and equally. We are still working on our roadmap, and sure we have had some setbacks for our 2024 lineup that I will be commenting on in the next couple of days. But we don't take this over-exaggerated criticism lightly for our film. It's bad for business and it's bad for our customers that would be otherwise be willing to see a film as great as this that is not only important for the multiverse aspect, but also for our introduction to some fan favorite characters in the end that I don't want to spoil. We have no doubt in our mind that this is the way of the future for an ensemble cast to encourage female-driven roles to make up for lost time that we missed in the MCU. Now guys, let me just pause here because he's beginning to sound like Kathleen Kennedy and no surprise, by the way, he and Kathleen Kennedy are really good friends. In fact, they are extremely close to the point that he was offered a Star Wars movie by Kathy Kennedy and things didn't work out, unfortunately for him, and he shot that down or it just kind of fizzled out. And look, Star Wars is in a bad place anyway, so I wouldn't really be all too excited about that to begin with by Kevin Feige. But when you look at Kevin Feige, the reason why he is so misguided and so out of touch with reality, just as almost any other producer out there that's so pretty much high on success to the point where they don't really see any of the flaws based on fan criticism and fan backlash. They only focus on what they are able to push out there to a very small percentage of an audience that they are catering to. That really is not the majority. So they got it backwards. Now we know that there's a lot of things happening here with Kevin Feige. He's going through a lot of hard times over at Marvel Studios based on all the awful decisions that he has made and that he has actually been pretty much doubling down on. He really has no remorse over what's been going on. Now this is exactly why Disney is practically on their knees begging Robert Downey Jr. to come back, 
begging Scarlett Johansson to come back, and I am not going to be shocked if Scarlett Johansson wants no role coming back as Black Widow after what they did to her. And if she were to come back, I would just view her as a sellout, let's be clear. I mean, we all know about the drama, I don't think I have to repeat that. But everything that, went hap that, everything that did happen between herself and Disney was just a disgrace, let me just say that. Now, further, he goes on to elaborate, if it were up to me, I would have started things out this way from the very beginning. I think it's only fair. We have had plenty of male-driven roles, and we believe it's time to turn the tide a bit to support that balance. As for the claims surrounding our financial status of this film, that is something I will also say is unpredictable and something irresponsible for others to prematurely make claims of its performance. Other than that, I am not willing to comment on this film's performance as we are waiting to see how it works out in the next two weeks for us. We are confident in a massive improvement and we cannot wait to share those results with everyone once we hit that point in time. I am also proud to announce that we will be applying the same treatment from the Marvels into our upcoming Iron Heart project that we are so deeply passionate about right now. I value the writers and the creators over this series that has been quite the journey. Many ask me if I would love to pursue a female Avengers style project and I say why not? I am not opposed to that at all, and I have no shame in saying that at all as well." So Kevin Feige, again, just as bad as Kathleen Kennedy, supporting this agenda while also saying that there's no agenda in place. You know, really pushing equality and DEI, which stands for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. This is something that Disney is obsessed about. It's a hypocritical and flawed strategy, mind you. But we know at the same exact time that what's happening with Blade 2025, all right, is already another atrocity, just quite as bad as the Marvels, based on what they're doing, diverting from source material and really taking elements of the original script that's now getting reworked, that was gonna be all female-led for Blade 2024, that is now 2025. So what's interesting about this is that we know that they are also going to do some other bad decisions. We know that there's a lot of talks that they want Pedro Pascal now to portray Reed Richards in the Fantastic Four film. Terrible choice in my opinion. I mean, I think that they're not really getting their casting decisions right as of late. So what's interesting about this though, is that the main takeaway is that Kevin Feige really has no idea what he's doing. He doesn't care about fan criticism, and he's just getting as bad as Kathleen Kennedy. In fact, I would not be shocked if he is beginning to get encouraged by Kathleen Kennedy's attitude and nature and how she runs things at Lucasfilm and how that's kind of reflecting on his overall image of the fan, you know, or the fandom I should say, and how he's actually reacting to that, I would not be shocked because they are very close friends and that's exactly why the Marvels, or should I say the Marvel Universe, has been taking a, quite a bit of a downturn. Kathy Kennedy did have a big hand in that. She is the one that told Kevin Feige, you should do this, this, or that to make that work. And that's exactly why you're seeing all these agendas rise lately with the Marvels. It's not just Disney, but it's also Kathleen Kennedy. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.